Hey guys! Um, sorry for not uh, posting a lot of videos lately, but uh, it's been some stuff going on with uh, got a new job and uh, actually I've been really really tired of tying flies. Um, and the reason for that is, uh, yeah, I guess I had tons of orders. Uh, I've tied, I've passed 1,200 sold flies this year. Um, I think that's uh, probably the reason that I I don't have the energy to make YouTube videos, do a lot of fly orders. I have a kid, I have a girlfriend, uh, and a real life in general. Um, so it's uh, been a lot of things going on. Um, but now I thought uh, it's closing up on the season now. Uh, the guys over in uh, England, Scotland, etc. has already started their fishing season. So uh, I thought it was about time to make a new video for a great early fly. Um, you have seen it before, uh, the regatta. Uh, that's my number one choice for all humus colored rivers, also in some clay rivers with, with a bit, little bit of color in the water. Um, I'm gonna tie it a little bit different this time. Um, the reason for that is this year I'm going to um, stop using plastic tubes with body hackle etc. I'm only going to fish with of course, sun rays, etc., will be an exception, but um, uh, but yeah, um, for the, for the other tube flies, I will go with only uh, heavy bottle tubes like the Stanton tubes and other other bottle tubes. Um, also, I wanted to show you guys some really cool stuff. Um, this is flash wing flies. Um, there is a friend of mine called his name is Stefan Grambo. Uh, he's the guy behind this type of flies. I really believe I really I really believe in them. They're like especially early in the season when the waters when the big waters are uh, when the floods are heavy and stuff like that. And he also fished with them all year round from June to August. So um, yeah, you can just make them in smaller. So head out to groundboothflyfishing.com and you can check his um, you can check his uh, page out and he has description of the flies, material lists, uh, the one specific flash he uses a lot is the Spectra flash, no, no sorry, the Star flash from uh, Futurefly. Great flash, I've been using it a lot lately uh, in all the flies I use, not only the flash wings but in the flies in general because you have this, I don't know, it's a, the thickness of the flash is really good and it makes the fly a little bit more voluminous if you know what I mean. Um, so today I'm going to show you the regatta, this one, um, as you can see it's tied on a stamping tube, it's maybe 10 centimeters or something like that for uh, for the big June rivers. This is my number one choice always early season. So um, material list will be down below, um, I fished this with sinking lines, heavy sinking lines. Um, the, the benefit with having the big stamping tubes is that you don't have to fish with like a T, T10, T18 line or like really heavy sinking lines to get this uh, little guy down. The tube in itself is really heavy so it will go down. You can use like maybe a 246 two, line or something like that or uh, yeah. So you can, that, that is something you can experiment with but uh, but yeah, depends on the depth etc. Um, so uh, it gave me my first fish last year, 10.5 kilo in Orkla, fresh springer came up and uh, yeah, took the fly on the fourth cast of the trip, so that was amazing. So yeah, we can just jump into the into the video. Okay, so we're starting off by using the 1.8 millimeter orange inner tube from Futurefly. We have a 19 millimeter Sean Stanton signature high water tube and an orange tine thread. So I start off by taking some super glue to the thread, like this. And then I'm just tying myself backwards to the end point of the tube just to make a little orange hot spot here. This will um, this will uh, be instead of the orange floor fibers when I tie it on the plastic tube. Okay? Like that. Now um, we are going to use the gold flat braid, the Alta Gold. 
this one. I cut one piece off. Adding that into the like that. And then I'm going all the way forward. Like that. Now add some super glue to the tube. Both sides. This is to secure it so it won't fall off that easily when it gets some salmon te teeth in it. And then just move your way forward. Oops, that's the smart thing with super glue, it doesn't go up then. <laughs> okay, secure it, then just snip that one off. Now I'm using some uh, glitch stubbing from Fredin. I'm going to use the Tata Corva color. This is to get a little hot spot inside the fly. That will show up pretty nice in the water. And then I'm going down to the inner tube. Pulling everything backwards, locking it up. This one you can just brush a little bit off if you want to. Just use a little brush and like that. Now um, I'm using orange polar bear, hot orange polar bear. You can get all this stuff on sashaflyfish.no. And yeah, that was a bit of advertising. Okay, so about two centimeters longer than the tube, I guess. Just lock it tight up like that. Snip off the, this one. And then I'm adding some crinkle flash to it. Orange crinkle flash. About two strands of that. Three I got here. So I'm using, using three then. I'm leaving these ones on the straight on like that. And I'm pulling them backwards. Try to spread them out a bit so they won't be lying straight on the top. You can divide them out to the sides, etc. Like that. Cut off the edges. You want them to be as about the length of the polar bear wing. Like that. Now um, I'm picking out an orange echo. Soft echo. that. If I can find my heckle tool in all, in all this mess it would be nice. <coughs> yeah, there it is. Okay, then I'm just pulling the fiber backwards and going forward. For every single wrap, just pull like this. Okay, there we go. Lock it up. Like that. Snip off the hackle stem. Like that. Make a couple of extra wraps onto the feather so it will secure it like 100%. Like that. Um, and now we are going to add some fox actually, some hot orange fox.
like that. Place it in the, on the top, in the middle. Like that. Snip off the little waist. Like that. I always add some varnish to every every secure point of the fly to make it uh, secure. Um, okay, so now um, I'm going to add some star flash from Future Fly. This is the gold one. Antique gold, I think it's called. So I take a, quite a good bunch here because this is early fly, so I want it to be really flashy. Like that. Then just go backwards. Like that. And then about the length of the box wing. So as you can see, I snip it in different lengths. That is to make, don't make the uh, flash uh, clump together. Okay, um, now I am going to uh, add the black wing. So I'm using some some black uh, temple dog. As you can see, this is not the longest one I have. Uh, I'm out of it. I'm out of the really long ones. So I, ha I have another one here that is really long, but I think this is a good ground base to call it like that. And then I will add the other one uh, at the end. Okay, that's a good amount. I want it to be about 10 centimeters at the total length. Okay, so I add this one. Really tight wraps so it won't fall off. I think this size that we have now would be a great size at the middle, like in the middle, uh, middle high, like the water level would be about middle, not the highest, but uh, and not the lowest. This will probably work as well, but I like to have them a bit bigger in June. Some one ish, like that. These creakle flashes are popping out, but in the water they will lay down. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, now uh, I'm adding a black hackle. One with a bit, bit of size is to prefer. Like that. Snip that off. Now the hackle tool. So just go all the way from the wing down on the inner tube. Like that. And then I'm snipping off the little heckle stem that I had there. Okay, now uh, the jungle cock. Sorry, the, um, I want the long fiber first. So this is another temple dog that is are about 15 centimeter long, uh, but I don't like the texture of the fibers, so I'm using it. I'm just using a tiny piece of it to make the wing a bit longer. 
about this thin. That's what I'm going to use to make the wing a bit longer. About that size. And then I'm straightening it up. I want it to be completely on the top, in the middle, like that. Like that. I don't trim this off because I'm going to cut it there later. Now um, I'm adding the jungle cock just on the regular one. Spit on it and I bend it like this so it will, will get that little bend. Like that. And like that. So I'm looking from the top and down on the fly to see if the lengths are the same. Okay. Like that. Now I'm using a scalpel and just to cut off the jungle cock. That's one. And that's two, I guess, almost. <laughs> like that. A really important thing now is to take some super glue onto the thread and secure the jungle cock because they can fall off pretty easy. And nowadays jungle cock are expensive and it's hard to get a hold of. So please do that. And now we're making a little orange head here to instead of the cone, the orange cone that I've been using on the regatta on the plastic tube. Like that. Orange little hotspot. Wrap up with uh, some half sticks, like this. Like that. Then I'm cutting off the inner tube, like that. And then I'm finish, finish, finishing off the fly with some varnish. Just to make the head nice. Like that. So, there you go. This is my number one fly for the early June fishing. I've been testing it in a tank recently just to see how it moves and it's it's amazing how the all the fibers are coming out and all the flashes are showing and yeah uh, you can see the orange tags inside here and the gold and the, you see the the patacorva dubbing etc so yeah give it a shot guys and uh, leave a comment below subscribe and uh, yeah see you guys later thanks for watching